Hello. Uh, uh, what's going on? Hi there, my name is Brendan, and this is Accidental Origin, and we need a writing web show. Welcome to the six month anniversary special. Yep, I've been doing this for six months. Six months. It's crazy. What's everyone been up to? So, um, today, what are we going to do today? I decided, since it's the six-month anniversary, that I had to go back to the story that kind of started it all. Oh, got to focus in there. Um, yeah, so what? It's still six months. Uh, we're going to work on Fear the Siren uh, today. See if we can make progress on the third draft and maybe finish her up. It's getting real close, guys. Getting real close. So, with that in mind, pop over to our main screen here. So yeah, um, for the record, uh, I'm going to have to leave a couple minutes before three. Uh, there's, I really want to watch the Winter Classic, which is on at three o'clock. <laughs> Winter Classic, Fall Classic, I don't know. It's Hyperinor. Come on, Sam. You got this. there and uh, yeah let's do 3000 cool <laughs> Thoris open. Canadians, yes, I want to watch a hockey game.
Yep, that's pretty much how it goes. got the things on properly. He's Bo Bode's not wrong, Sam. I mean it's not it's not like Sweden or Switzerland. <laughs> Sweden? Sweden. Norway. That's the one. Well probably Sweden as well. I'm fine with the debate, but you better be working on your project, Sam, or I'll be sad. I'll be very sad. I'm thinking this paragraph has the right idea, but it's reor is organized wrong.
You guys are funny. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of floated in the background for a while. Um, we are working on the third draft. Um, <laughs> Cause we finished the second draft. So we're working on the third one. Paranor hadn't seen any movement in the full day he had spent observing the house. Didn't mean much though his information was accurate. Monster movements rarely went unnoticed by anyone these days. Because it's my six month anniversary, Johnny. Come on. Work with me here. Also, this is the first project I ever worked on. So I had to go back to it. Tisk, tisk.
Sure, bud. Have a good one, man. Thanks for stopping by. That's too repetitive. All right, man, sounds good. I need that sentence at all. A unicorn. I mean a unicorn. I have no idea what unicorns. It's kind of cold in here today, though. Getting colder. Yeah, it's cold in here. It's only gonna get colder. Yo, Sam, you hear they're calling for snow next week? Apparently.
Where does the time go? Hey, Erica, what's going on? to get a sweater <laughs> during the break. Would it sound better to say likely weren't or likely wasn't? You don't know any about car salesmen, Johnny. No car salesmen wear the caps. And this is a different cap from the last one you said I look like a car salesman. So I don't even know what you're talking about. This is a sports cap. I don't think you understand caps at all. Hands are cold. I'm trying to warm them up a bit. I'm not that cold, it's, my hands are cold. They need to be warmed up so that they can work properly. It happens. <laughs> I 
I just did. <laughs> What's your problem? Uh. Yeah. It's probably colder in New York than it is here. Well, my family does have a terrible hockey addiction, that is true. Just because you're not paying attention, Johnny, is not my fault. Oh, by the way, feel free to um, give me comments about the text. If you see something that looks weird, if you see something that could be better, please let me know. I am happy to hear your feedback. Uh, also, if you have any questions right now, uh, it would be the perfect time to ask while I'm tip-tapping away. Let's change this passive voice into active voice. Wait a second now, Erica. You said it's freezing in New York.
Yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. You just make fun of me. <laughs> oh well, you know, it is what it is. I'm used to you guys. Did that line. I did actually want to bring it up though, Johnny. Um, what we talked about last week, where you said that uh, you didn't understand uh, what the difference was between the different sort of uh, mediums of writing. No, I just need to turn up the heat a bit. <laughs> uh, it probably hasn't been adjusted yet. In other news, I'm vastly intrigued by this AT&T buyout of Time Warner and what that means for the entertainment industry. No, it's not. It's 15 degrees in New York. <laughs> it's not freezing at all. It's twice as warm in New York as it is in Ottawa right now. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Not even. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. this places. <laughs> so I read an interesting article uh, a couple weeks ago. Well, I didn't really read the article. I just saw the headline which stated that it's official that more, um, more millennials and, uh, 
and the generation, like more millennials, uh, watch YouTube than cable television. And then now with all this, uh, all these mergers, like NBC getting bought out and. <laughs> Yeah, I, I did want to talk about that because I have a couple of writers sitting in the room and um, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, not just my perspective, but even Erica who writes in different mediums, uh, more so than Sam who doesn't, he just writes prose. Um, like what it feels like to, to work on different on different styles, like how different does it feel to write uh, a short film or a film than a novel? Um, so yeah, open question for the writers in the room. And Bode, if you're around, you can you can answer that too, though I don't want to distract you if you're working away, so. stronger sometimes you gotta cut to make things better there we go Interesting, interesting. I feel ya. Sure, you know. Yeah, I mean, that's the whole point of doing exercises like that, right? It's also why I've tried to jump around a little bit and not just concentrate on one thing because I want to improve overall and I want to make it so I'm not always doing the exact same thing on stream too, um, which I think helps. I think it makes it more entertaining overall. should be a sentence here in between completing this kind of metaphor I got going on Yeah, it's, it's like that, Johnny, but the other thing, I, I, like, the way I also wanted to compare it to is, like, the difference of working in traditional versus digital. Like, they use the same fundamental concepts, but they aren't necessarily the same process, right?
or like the difference between painting and and drawing there's a lot of stuff that you, you use you use drawing to inform the painting you you sketch and then paint like there's aspects that are shared between them but they're still different at the end Right, that's my point, is that writing a novel and writing writing a screenplay are not the same. <laughs> They're not the same thing. They never will be. But they share a similar foundation. Which is exactly what Erica's talking about, where she's using that foundation to inform those other things. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really use beat sheets in general, <laughs> but I understand how it can help be helpful. But what do you mean by structure, Ronnie? Please expand. Oh yeah, totally. I just, I never really got into all those weird fundamentals of, uh, of screenwriting. Can you refer it again, Johnny? Um, I think I understand the question you're asking, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, that's another word, Sam. I always misspell presence, no matter what. <laughs> I just misspell it.
<laughs> yeah. Um, and video game storytelling is a whole other ball game. Uh, but I haven't talked about it that much. Well, I mean, I probably haven't because it's not like we've covered a ton of video games sort of style stuff on here. But the best video games and the best video games story-wise are the ones where the gameplay informs the story without there actually having to be plot told. Oh, yeah, no, Johnny. No, you can't really do that. I think there's a... I think you could make a case that you could make a reasonable uh, version of each of them, but I think there will be one that would be significantly better than the others. But no, I don't think so. Well, I just think of games like um, how awesome Assassin's Creed is to play. Where, you know, it's not necessarily the, the best plot all the time, but walking around in the city from like end to end or whatever feels interesting. It feels as part of the narrative. Um, you know, like the main mechanics are part of the narrative. And that, and that really drives it. Uh, another good example is um, Super Mario Brothers is a great example where, you know, that sort of, you're trying to find the princess. So you literally run through levels looking for the princess. She's always in another castle. But that's like, that's very informed narrative of what that thing is. It's not complicated for sure, but you know, it's, it's informative. Um, what are other good examples? I mean, RPGs are kind of the base example. That being said, RPGs tend to be very plot heavy in ways that other games are not. Um, yeah. If I think of anything else, I'll let you know, but. Really? Really? I'm interested. Please, please inform us, Sam. Fair enough, I see your point. I see your point. Part of it is though, like part of it is the fact that we can, like we can, what tells me the narrative is effective at what it, what it does by introducing the gameplay, whether you're right or I'm right, or we're both right. The fact is, is that we, we can both make a solid argument for our cases 
and that really shows me how well that narr narrative integrates with the gameplay. Like, they know what they're doing. They're making it very... You know what I mean? Like... Anyway, I gotta take a break now. I gotta run to the bathroom. Uh, but yeah, five minute break. We're about an hour in. We're making some progress. Not too fast, but not too slow. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. And I think Harvest Moon... Like, Harvest Moon is a great example of that as well, for the same reasons, probably, where, you know, you're literally making a farm, and your your job and goal is to raise a farm <laughs> and get better at farming, so you literally have to gameplay better farming in order to get better at farming. Like, it makes perfect sense. A big Harvest Moon fan, if anyone didn't know. Big Harvest Moon fan. <laughs> We we may have we may have mentioned Stardew Valley. But yeah, break time. I'll come back and we will continue this conversation. <laughs> 